As Afrobeat continues to rock the planet, one of its chief exponents is Ghana's leading man, Shata Wale. But before Afrobeat, his genre was dancehall. Believe it or not, I want play no dirt. My name is Yalufa. I want earth. Wale, who is now the face of the first reggae album, to top a national chart on the African continent and graces our stage as he basks in his latest success, a Beyonce Major Laser collaboration. Right now, right here on our stage from Ghana, Shata Wale. Shata, sir, welcome. Oh, pop, 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 pop. <laughs> bless up, bless up, thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, win for a long time, you know. You know the first time we did meet you was at Miami, you know. Yes, Florida, yes. You know, you were on yeah, our yeah. side of the world at the time, yes. So how have you been, <laughs> Bridging? How have you well, been doing? Well, good, you know, just working hard. So working see, hard, you know. And uh, what can you tell us about the, the COVID impact on Ghana? Well, I would say COVID, you know, has really, you know, disturbed, you know, not only us, the, you know, um, artists or celebrities, but it, it has disturbed like a couple of businesses and, you know, things here and there. But um, we're still coping, you know, the government is trying, you know, our president has, you know, laid, you know, down every, you know, measure for us to, you know, be safe in the country and, you know, kudos to him and, you know, we're proud, you know, but um, I would say, as of now, everybody is living their lives, but you know, we've, we're just learning how to live with COVID, you know, so that is a life we're living down here right now. So the entertainment sector is open? No, because, you know, we are not really getting entertainment like it used to. Mm -hmm. Everything is virtual, virtual now. Well, the world is dancing to Afrobeat and to artists like you, my friend. <laughs> Nobody can <laughs> walk. Nobody can <laughs> walk around from the continent, and we love it. I'm not an Afrobeat artist, you know. I'm a dancer. A dancer, yes, <laughs> but but you're still you're still considered Afrobeat, aren't you? Yeah, you know, the, Nigeria. You the, know, Nigeria. <laughs> Nigeria got the whole Africa talking about Afrobeat and we got to support it is Africa, you know. Yes, Africa's so, so they, yeah. they, they, everybody's now being put in, I know, <laughs> you all are being put in the Afrobeat camp, you know. <laughs> but um, that style was the original, <laughs> I think. <laughs> okay, so, all right, so sum up for us, you know, for those watching who don't know the background, um, mm. your own journey in music to hear um, i grew up from ghana you know and, and some part of you know london mitchum um and um, i really love dance so i've really you know followed people like you know shaba ranch you know to bujibantin to um Bontikila, to you know a, a whole lot of people and now um I'm, I'm i'm even more into vibes cartel because you know not because of anything but i believe i i have some motivational things that I, you know, always listen to in his music anytime I listen to Vice Carter. So basically, I, I have tried to push Tanso on the map from Africa, and that's what people know. That's 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 how hard, you know, Shata is. You know, I have a whole movement called the Shata Movement. Yes. You know, I have a, a management in, in Jamaica, Kim's Media House, that is taking care of my world, you know, dance all songs and reggae songs, you know. So basically, I just say I'm working hard, you know, to reach up to my goal and, you know, Dance all is my life, you know, and I want to really, you know, impact some knowledge in the next generation so we can also help them know what is business and make money out of music. All right. So talk about this. Um, you are the face of this album. The first album mm. to top a chart, a national mm. chart mm. on the continent. Oh, how does that make you feel? What, how do you celebrate that? Well, you know, the first time I got a call from my team that, you know, contractor, wanted us you know for a compilation um I, I thought it was a normal thing but later i saw it to be a calling you know because seeing all those big artists behind me you know talk about elephant man sizzler kipletan you know all them big artists behind me and me being the face of a compilation shows is a calling for me you know I, I see it as a calling i see it as a blessing that you know god is trying to direct me you know, in, in life and in where I've got into right now. So, you know, um, I, I see that as a stepping stone for me to prove to the world that, you know, I can really 
put that dancehall, you know, you know, journal on the map also for the world to also accept me as a dancehall artist. And I'm really, you know, proud about it. And I thank Contractor and Big Bopper, you know, for really putting me on and my management in Jamaica as well. And you, people like you, supporting and promoting it as well. So, yeah, it's a great thing for me.